What's up guys, what's going on? So I'm going on a video. Today we are back, we are in 7 days to die, it's 4, it's 2.30 in the American time in the game, so that means we got about, make sure I don't know, because I know at 20 it starts getting dark, so we have 5.5 hours, I think, yeah, if I'm being right, yeah, we have 5.5 hours to go be productive, so we're going to go ahead and do that for sure, there's a, there's a zombie over there, and uh, the 7.2 update did come out today, and it did bring some minor changes. I did notice that the zombie memory was a bit different, like how much they remember. I don't know if I did something wrong, maybe. I think because it, it was a set on two seconds before, so I think I might have accidentally set it on that. That's why zombies were forgetting about me so quickly. So I'm thinking that, uh, ooh, that's a zombie. We should shoot it. Okay, okay, there you go. Oh, out of ammo. Uh, yeah, I think I had it on two seconds, so I did put it back to the default. So that was, uh,. What was the default? The default was uh, da, 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 uh, 60 seconds. That was the default. I was just sure to set it to that. So I did go ahead and do that. And I'm just, I don't know, uh, should I go take, yeah, I'll go, I'll, I'll go take care of these people. Let's go. Okay, so, oh no, that I've just attracted the entire horde. Well, shit. Where are the dogs at? That's the one thing I'm worried about, because dogs are kind of a threat. Everything else, I'm not too worried about, but dogs, yeah, definitely want to do something about those doggies. Okay. I got a shot on it. It's not dead yet. Okay, well, I've learned about everything in the general. Oh, shit. That's a dog. Okay. Hi, doggy. There we go. That thing's dead. Uh, as long as I don't call in a horde, I think we'll be good. So let's go ahead and get rid of this asshole right here. Just chop her in the head a couple times. She should go down. With relative ease. She's, like, pushing me, too. Wanna, do you want to die, lady? Do you want to Do you want to die? Just die. How is she alive? For, okay, this is a bit. this is a bit extreme, don't you think? There we go. That was a lot of work. Let's go ahead and she had a book on her, man. She was she was learning about all sorts of sorts of interesting stuff. Let's just take out the dog. Uh miss her. Shoot her. Shoot her. There we go. She's done. Uh however we have attracted even more zombies. So you know we're just I think we're just gonna go ahead and run around these. I don't really want to deal with them. We'll just go ahead and oh shit. Well one back spawned us. So yeah, let's just try to for the most part avoid these zombies. Uh, let's just try to... Yeah, nope, nope, nope. Not not opening that in time. Now let's open this one. We can probably get this off in time. Just got to keep an eye out on the main map. And see what goes on there. So I think the 7.2.2 update did bring some kind of changes, maybe? Uh, that's what it seems like. Well, obviously it did bring some sort of change. I'm just being stupid, but... Uh, what exactly it brought, I'm not sure. But they did do some, like, minor overhauls. and not, I don't know, I'm just talking out of my ass pretty much. Oh wait, this this could be good. That's a cooking pot. We could use that. Um, let's take this lady out. Okay, she got a hit on me, that jerk. There we go. We got rid of her. Thank you. Uh, we have alerted someone. Probably someone in the building. Uh, we have about four hours left of daylight. We have a campfire out back. That could be good. Wait, she's a nurse. Oh, she had nothing on her. Okay. Well, that's that's no biggie. We have an oil barrel, though. That'd be great for getting some oil. Uh, okay. Well, I could just... Let's just do this my way here. Okay, that was a very loud way of doing my way. And I don't think it worked too well. Okay, well, we did kill them. So that's objective one complete. They're dead now. As long as we don't get, like, hit in the ass. Their bodies, like, their torsos extend in the weirdest way when this happens. I am kind of scared, actually. I want to collect all this. This could come in handy. Oh, no. I'm backing the fuck out of there. I'm about to deal with that shit. Let's pick up that sleeping bag. That guy's kind of like stuck in there. They're, they're all just like stuck. Never mind. Not stuck. Not stuck by any means. Okay, so I think three bullets, three headshots does a trick on these frostbitten workers. That's why I do want to get get out of the ice areas because they're extremely strong uh, in comparison to normal zombies. So definitely don't want to stick around here for too long. Let's be sure to crouch around a little bit not attract all the zombies because they might screw us over in this area yeah okay well, as long as they don't come in here I, okay just be sure to stay undetected oh shit we're being sensed shit okay we'll just lock ourselves in this room we'll be we'll be absolutely fine let's open the medicine cabinet uh, we got some band-aids okay band-aids are good do you want to loot it quietly? Do everything quietly. 
do want to be sure to do some inventory management. Throw that on. Okay. Where is my submachine gun? I should throw that in the inventory. That could serve good. Suitcase. I'm being hunted. Oh, shit. Okay, well, there's a ladder. You can flee. Actually, this seems like a good place to hold out for the night. Uh, yeah, I, th I think we will go ahead and try to fortify this gas station. That's... Looking at our options, it's a pretty good one. And... Uh, yeah, okay. Well, that's that's a zombie. Uh, he's coming for us. We're gonna try to lure him outside. And, yeah, just come outside. Zombie. 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 Okay, I don't think he fully realizes I'm outside yet, so let's go ahead and chop this down. Break into the garage. And... Okay, he now, he, I think he now sees me. He sees me in my shit. Nope, he's, he's sprinting. He's sprinting. Nope, nope. I'm out. I'm out. Not about to deal with a sprinter. I do not fuck with sprinters. Do not fuck with sprinters. Okay, there we go. I'll just take his ass out. Just shit. Gotta reload. Oh, of course I do. Are we reloaded? Yes, we are. Okay. There we go. Dead. Problem solved. We might be good. We might be able to get everything. We got a pistol on him. Damn. Some good loot. Good loot, son. Um. See, pile of garbage. Oh, okay. We got back spawned again. God damn it. He's wandering kind of this way, too. Okay. Oh, we're being haunted, apparently. Shit. Uh, okay. We're undetected. I do just want to search the rest of this store without, like, alerting everyone and their moms. That'd be fantastic if I could do that. I just like to do this peacefully. I have no ill qualms. No, no qualms with these zombies. They are. They're good people, you know. They, they've done nothing wrong. They did nothing wrong. Okay. More cloth fragments. That'll be good. You got a little cupboard. Nothing in there. And I thought I thought for sure that there might be a safe in here, but... By the looks of it, doesn't doesn't seem like there's a safe. Might be something behind the counter. That's either a chair or a bag on the counter. We're being hunted because there's a zombie right there. Okay. Let's just go ahead and close that door behind us. And uh, might as well start going upstairs to fortify for the night as soon as we... Oh shit, she's right outside. Well, let's go ahead and climb up here. Let's get our inventory. And let's start, uh, I guess, protecting against the inevitable. I think that's the best way of phrasing this. So, we're going to go ahead and chop down some, some, uh, some things here. Yeah, chop that down. That's what I want. Okay, there we go. Let's chop down. I'm gonna go ahead and clog that little little place up, and we should be pretty safe on the roof of this gas station. And uh, what the plan looks to be is we're just gonna keep traveling west, and we might go ahead and go down, and stop by Husker Avenue when daytime does come around. But right now it is nighttime. It is a bit dangerous, and we still got we still got some looting to do here. So nothing in that backpack. Uh, let's do this methodically. Let's check out the trash. It was a a decent gas station to loot. We did get some good things. Actually, let's see what we did get. Let's try to do some a little bit of an inventory. Actually, let's really quickly repair those two things. Also, I did throw on fast craft because crafting, eh, it's more of an inconvenience if you're recording. So I did just go ahead and throw on fast craft. Hopefully, you guys don't mind. Uh, I did it just so it would be a bit easier for us to rock for recording purposes, I guess. That's the best way, best way to phrase it. And uh, uh, we're going to start just... I guess breaking stuff down, we don't really, yeah, like I said, want to do some inventory management. That was only one scrap lead. Wow, not really worth it. We'll break that down into scrap iron. It's a lot more annoying when you gotta do it one by one, I do admit. Uh, scrap iron supplies aren't doing amazing. We're a bit low on that. Bullet casings, we can't break down. I think we can make a mold of it. Not sure how hubcaps we can make a bunch of scrap iron out of. And after that, I think we're done iron-wise. We have some gravel, so yeah, we should be good. And other than that, we are just going to try to wait it out on this. I, I, I'm stupid. I thought my stuff was back there for a sec. It's not. I'm just dumb. Let's go ahead and loot everything. Oh, these air conditioners take surprisingly long. I didn't know air conditioners were that hard to loot. Also, if I do, if I do sound a little bit different, I do apologize. I feel like I'm starting to come down with some. starting to come down with a bit of a sickness, so... Hopefully that does pass by with relative quickness. That'd be great because I don't like being sick, especially 
when there's recording to be done and also it gets in the way with school and it's really annoying and speaking of that I don't know I don't know where I was transitioning with that I really don't I wish I knew but if we do look over there yeah it, we, we do see the zombies out in the forest we're sensed by someone well that's not good for us but it doesn't matter we're just gonna keep on doing our thing and after the day the sun it does set and it rises again we're gonna go over down that path and see what we can't get down there and uh, sorry if this episode sorry if I'm not super enthusiastic this episode that's probably do a little bit with me being sick which is uh, kind of annoying uh, especially when you do try to record and be energetic because it kind of drains all your energy which sucks but I am recording this a little bit ooh yes we got some hunting knife oh I actually really needed that so I could repair my old hunting knife with it and we'll have a decent melee weapon a lot better than that extremely damaged fire act wait what oh oh we still have that okay I'm stupid I thought I thought we were about to craft in the scrap iron I'm like no let's craft it in a hunting knife and it'll be a lot more repaired that's, that's gonna be good right yeah, all the way. So if we look at that, it does 100% damage compared to our 60% damage fire axe. So I think that's going to be a lot better. We will keep the fire axe in our inventory for like woodcutting purposes. I guess we could save it for that. And we definitely want to stay undetected up on this roof for the most part. I'll probably, again, like usual, just go through the night on my own time and I will record it if something exciting happens. But nothing exciting ever happens. It's usually pretty boring. Uh, night time is not exactly exciting in 7 Days to Die. Is uh, Actually, there's some guy on Reddit. Uh, talked about it pretty well he said seven days to die at daytime is pretty cool because it's like all the zombies they're like slow and then in the, in the daylight they're slow there's a lot of them it's a threat but at nighttime it kind of becomes more of a tower defense game so that's a pretty good description of it actually because that's pretty much what it is you're just hiding from the zombies and it is good that you do have to hide and stuff but at the same time it does make it a little bit a little bit tedious I guess is the word for it uh cinder is done into gravel okay I really had to do that before. Actually, might as well throw the sniper rifle down there and let's make sure it's reloaded. Oh, it is. Well, we can't go in and just look. Just examine the surrounding area. See if we can't take a couple pot shots, maybe. Pot shots at some pass passing by zombies. And see what's up with that. Oh, shit. We're being hunted. No, we're not. Just chill. Just chill. We're sensed. That's all it is. Okay. Oh, man. Being sick, though, it is so annoying. Oh, uh, yeah. There we have her. We could just pop her right in the brains just lower brains up we don't want to attract too much unnecessary attention because okay we're a bit undetected now let's just see what this does let's just line up the shot bang sneak attack damage oh that was beautiful now back to the shadows we go they saw nothing let's reload that one bullet also we actually like when you reload weapons and stuff uh it's not like before where you reload the entire mag now it's actually bullet by bullet so I guess that's kind of good, but before it worked in magazines and not bullets. I, I'm talking a while back. I'm, I'm talking out my ass. I'm talking to like old man terms like, er, back in my day, you know, it was extremely different and stuff, but I don't know. I'm not an old geezer yet. Uh, probably won't be for a while. In real life and in seven days. Actually, seven days to die, I, I'm a pretty old geezer. I've been around here since the beginning. And for those of you that are new to my 7 Days series, you actually, I, this is the 5th season, and I played, at this point, between 70 and 80 episodes, so you can definitely go back and just, I have a huge 7 Days to Die playlist with every single video, and you guys might enjoy that if you do enjoy this, and you can't wait for the next episode. You can always go back and watch some of the old ones if you haven't seen them, because that's always a viable option. And the sun is beginning to set, the zombies are beginning to come out and become dangerous, and we are going to spend the night up here, and we're not going to yellow down there, I do want to keep this, actually, actually, let's go ahead and plop down a sleeping bag, why was I not thinking, let's plop that down, beautiful idea, yes, good, 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 good idea, so now I have our sleeping bag down, that's going to be relatively safe, and I think that's a pretty good point to end off on, I need to go render this out, and have that done because my new seven days to die rendering i did try some more stuff so it is a bit higher quality than usual because i didn't notice some kind of annoying things going on in some of the recordings so i did want to do something about that and for the most part i think it did fix the trick but it takes like three times more to render so yeah it's gonna it's gonna be a bit on my side so sorry if i do need to keep the episode short though it's just that you know night's coming and I have to fast forward through the night, and that's going to take some of my own time, and then I got to, you know, like like I said, just don't worry. I'll just, I'm 
fast forward through it on my own time. Not fast forward through it, like, but you know, you know what I mean. It's like I do it on my own time, so it seems like I fast forward and I'm just talking on my ass. But I'm gonna go through the night on my own. I'll record it if something exciting happens. If not, we're just gonna, we're just gonna, like, we're just gonna, you're, you're just gonna, it's just gonna magically be daytime in pretty much the exact same spot. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. As always, if you did, be sure to like and this gonna start signing out. Love you guys. See ya.